Hello pilots and welcome to MotionRC.com. Today I'm going to be going over the TX16S and how to actually utilize all 16 channels of it. As you can see here on MotionRC we only have 8 channel receivers, so what do you do? Well in better news you can take two 8 channel receivers or two 6 channel receivers in the ELRS category and you can bind them together to make more channels. Now the process is a little bit complicated at first, the first time you see this, but I promise if you follow along with this video, you're going to be able to do it just fine, just like I will. So let's get down on the table. We're going to fire up the radio. The first thing we need to do is get a model profile kind of going. So we have an initial setup before we bind to the aircraft. Here we go. All right, for step one, we need to make a new model. So let's click the scroll wheel in. Then we're gonna click on Manage Models. New. New model. We're gonna click on the wizard. It's an airplane. All right, the first page we come to is the motor settings. Does your model have a motor? Yes. What channel do you want it on? I get channel three for mine. And then do you want a safety switch? Yes. And I moved mine to SG, which is this top corner. That's where I like to keep mine. Then we're gonna hit the next button. Does this model have ailerons? Yes, it does, but I'm gonna only select one for now because it won't give us more than 10 channels at the moment. So we're gonna do one and we're gonna leave it on channel one. Next setting. Does your model have flaps? Yes, and I want them on two different channels. So I'm gonna put it on channel eight, and me personally, I'll put the second one on channel 10. Then we're gonna hit the next button. Next setting, tail configuration. Well, I'm gonna leave it as just standard elevator and rudder. We are gonna to have to add some on if we want more stuff, but for now, we're gonna stick with this. Retractable landing gear. Yes. I want them on SF. SF. Gear goes to channel eight. Next. Do we want any expo? Yeah. Dual rates? Yeah. Switch? I like mine on SD right here. Next. Okay. And this is just going to get our initial settings into the radio. Enter. Return to exit out of this menu. All right. At this point, we have our new model when we have nothing else. Now we can click on model. Now we can click on where it says new plane and we can put the name of whatever we're programming. So in my case, I'm programming an Aries. Now we actually can start thinking about binding the radio. So we're gonna go to our internal RF, right here. We're gonna turn that to crossfire and we're gonna leave that all alone for now. Now we can go back to model or back. All right. Now we're ready to bind and start actually programming this radio. So in order to do that, we're going to hit our systems. Express ELRS. And this is where you need to change your packet rates if you haven't already because whenever you set this up, these are gonna probably be a different number. It needs to be on 333 full, and then you need to change your switch mode to 16 channel rate. If you do not do this, channels 13, 14, 15, and 16 will do nothing. So you have to change that. Once we do that, it is time to actually bind the aircraft to the receivers. In order to do it, we're gonna plug the aircraft in, Wait a few seconds for the lights to start flashing, then click bind. 
All right, now that we've successfully bound the transmitter to the two receivers, it's time for us to do a little bit of computer programming. Now, in order to do this, you are gonna need a separate battery pack to be able to power the receiver. But there is a caveat to that. Make sure you do not plug this into your receiver while it is in the aircraft. If you plug this in, and power up the receiver at the same time, you will blow up the ESC. You cannot run an onboard pack with a free wing ESC. It will overload it and pop it. So if you're gonna use this as your actual receiver power, you must not use the stock ESC as it's set up. So I wanna give you that heads up. This is very important, but you do have to be able to power that receiver separately. So, once we have everything bound up in the airplane, let's pull one of the receivers out of the aircraft. I normally like to put a black mark on the R of the receiver that is gonna be the one I'm gonna to take to the computer and program to make sure that I don't mix this up in a future aircraft if I decide to use this receiver again. Once we have that receiver in our hand, we can go over to the bench and we're gonna power this separately to actually get the receiver bound up to the computer in order to do this next part. So now that we have it in our hand, what we need to do is take that separate battery pack we talked about earlier. We need to plug that into the battery port channel. The receiver will turn on and begin to flash. And now we need to wait for about a minute until that receiver changes colors again. It's gonna switch into what it's called its Wi-Fi mode automatically. But you need to just let it blink until it happens. All right, so I waited for the minute and now I have the green pulsing light, which tells me that I am in Wi-Fi mode. Now over on the computer, we need to go to our Wi-Fi settings. So down in the corner, available networks, and we want Express LRS RX. Click on that, open browser, and here it comes to this page. Now, for any reason, it asks you for a password. The password will be Express LRS for the receiver as far as connecting it to your computer. And if for any reason it doesn't connect and bring up this window, what you need to do is just open up your internet browser and where you type in your website name, you're gonna type in 10.0.0.1 and then hit enter and it should bring you to this page then. So now that you're on the home page, what we wanna do is go over to where it says model. We're gonna click on that and it's gonna bring up our receiver right now. Now my settings are already changed to what they're gonna to need to be changed to, but it's as simple as going to your input section here and changing it when you've started off, it's gonna come up as channel one is what you're normally gonna have when you come in here. What we're gonna do is click on that first input and we're gonna change it to channel nine. And then we're gonna go down the list and change every one of these. So we want channel nine, channel 10, channel 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, onward. We want all those as the correct ones. Now, one other thing we should do is channel three, which was a throttle channel, was set to 988 as the original value we should change this to 1500, so it'll be centered instead of at the bottom on a fail safe. Then we wanna go down to where it says force telemetry off. Now the reason we're doing this is we only can have telemetry on one of our two receivers. So we need to pick one that we're gonna turn the telemetry off on. And I always do it as the added receiver that way that I know that if I put this added receiver into any other aircraft, the telemetry is already off, we're good to go. But we do need to make sure we turn that off. After we have all these settings changed, we're gonna click on save. You're gonna get that it's configured, okay. And then after that, we can simply close the window and unplug the receiver at this point. Just like that, we now have this set up to be two separate receivers. Now let's go over to the airplane and plug it in. All right, pilots, I put the receiver back in the aircraft. And of course I used my channels, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 now on here 
to actually finish out this aircraft. Now, if you're interested in exactly how to do the Ares on its own, that'll be a separate video altogether, but this is just to show you how you can actually set up the dual receivers to get your 16 channels on any aircraft that you're wanting to use this setup on. Well guys, I've been Wes here at MotionRC.com. If you found today's video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down in the corner. And if you're new to our channel and enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our quick tips and our other awesome RC content. As always, whether it's air, land, or sea, you can get it right here at MotionRC.com. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye guys.